Today I'll be sharing with you 10 truths about YouTube vlogging. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Charlene and here I share with you and show you anything relating to our life here in the UK. Welcome here. Here in our channel, I've started a new mini series which is mainly about YouTube vlogging. Here I'll be sharing with you my vlogging journey to hopefully inspire you if you're also thinking about starting your own YouTube channel. In my previous vlog, I shared with you my very first YouTube salary and how I've spent that hard-earned money. And then after that, I also shared with you some tips on how to get your channel monetized faster if you also would like to earn some money from YouTube. And today, I'll be sharing with you some facts and truths about YouTube vlogging to at least give you some idea on how it is like to be a YouTube vlogger. Before I begin, I just wanted to say thank you to those who have subscribed to our channel. We have now reached 1,700 subscribers. Thank you very much. I am so grateful for you. Thank you for taking the time to click the subscribe button and also for watching our videos. I hope that you found our videos helpful somehow. And I would also like to invite you if you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below if you would like to be notified when our next videos are uploaded. There will be a mixture of fun and adventurous vlogs and some helpful and um, tips videos on vlogging and also anything relating to British living here in the UK. So I hope that you can join us in this vlogging journey. Thank you very much. Now on to our main topic. What are the 10 truths about YouTube vlogging? Let's go through my list then. Number one, some viewers will dislike your videos. Some viewers will like your videos and it is a good feeling to feel appreciated after putting so much effort in producing these videos. But remember that there will always be people who will dislike your videos, even though it is the most positive video that you've ever uploaded on YouTube. Do not be disheartened though, this reaction still counts. Knowing that they disliked your video meant that they also watched it, which is already a positive point. I will show you some example. So on this video, this is my most popular video in all of the videos that I've uploaded. And you will notice that um, there are many likers, but there are also some who disliked the video, but didn't bother me at all. And then also this is, I think, is the most positive video that I've uploaded, which is about me having my British citizenship ceremony. So you will notice that many people also like this, but so for some reason, some people also disliked it. I wasn't bothered at all. So even though there are dislikers, do not give up. Don't let it pull you down and do not let them affect you. In fact, use those likers instead as an inspiration to carry on doing your videos because even though there are dislikers there are more likers so just look at those people who would like your video just do what you love to do and just ignore some dislikers number two other vloggers will copy your style some vloggers will copy your style to the point of almost copying the tone of your video or your script that is normal here on YouTube. Be flattered because as they say, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. It just meant that you did something really right for them to copy it. Just remember that you are the original. I have seen one YouTube vlogger who also did a same video as what I've already done. And I noticed that the tone of the video and even the script is exactly the same as my video. I didn't mind. It just meant that this person took time to watch my video to at least copy the script. And that's a positive thing for me. So I know who you are. All I'm saying is when you started your own YouTube channel and you started to create your own videos, don't be surprised if there are some YouTube vloggers out there who will also copy your idea. That's how it is here on YouTube. And knowing that fact, this will lead us to our number three. You can get ideas from other vloggers as well. Yes, that's right. You can also get ideas from other YouTube vloggers, but use your own creativity to at least put a little twist on it to either improve it or to personalize it. 
that is common here in YouTube world. There are thousands of videos being uploaded on YouTube every single minute. There is no way that these videos or concepts or ideas are unique. Some of them have been done before and the YouTube vloggers just use their own creativity and imagination to either personalize it and put their own style and just own it. For example, a day in the life or house tour, how to grow your YouTube channel. Even this video, there might be somewhere out there a video already talking about some truths about YouTube. You can still do your own style to make it different from all the others. Number four, you will get better in movie making. So when you started making videos and uploading it on YouTube, you will get better in movie making and in editing. Your editing will be quicker and you will find ways to make it easier to edit. So in general, you will get better in making YouTube videos. I remember my very first video here on YouTube. It was not great. I even have a part of the video that I forgot to edit and um, I just left it there. That's how it was. And on my next videos after that, I think I got better. Still not the best, still not perfect, but I think slowly, slowly I get better on what angles to show and the editing to make it look um, interesting and make it engaging to my viewers. As I've said, I'm still not there yet, but I'm learning every day. So what I'm saying is when you start making videos and uploading it on YouTube in time, you will get better. It, you might struggle at first and you won't appreciate what you've done, but you just keep on practicing and you will get there. Number five, this is really true. You will run out of ideas to vlog. This is also normal. So if you'll notice some vloggers just do something the same that they've already done before with just a little bit of difference because they run out of ideas. But there are times also where your creative juice just suddenly go overflowing. So what I would suggest is to grab a piece of paper, write down your ideas, write as many as you like. And in the future, if you run out of ideas for the next vlog, you can look back into this list and then just use it to choose which next vlog you will have to do. This happened to me, as I mentioned in my previous video, where I ran out of things to do because my main purpose was to show you travel vlogs and then lockdown came. So what I did, I thought about some ideas that I could share. I wrote it down on a piece of paper and from then on, I continued doing it week by week. Sometimes I still run out of ideas, but there are some hidden lists somewhere where I could look at and get some ideas on what to do next. Number six. YouTube vlogging will show your personality on camera. Some viewers who watch your videos will stay not because of the video, but because of your personality. When I rewatched all my videos, I noticed something in common in all of them. And that is, I am very shy in front of the camera. Who knows, it might improve in time. You will notice that I am not playful or quirky like any other vloggers out there, but this is who I am. I also realized that I would like to teach and explain things through bullet points. I found it really satisfying to transfer my thoughts into bullets and explain it one by one. And this is me, this is my style, and I gotta stick to it. But also there is room for improvement and we always learn every day. So you gotta stick to who you are and don't pretend, but also be open for improvements. And as long as you are enjoying what you're doing, then just carry on how you do it and find ways to probably improve it. But don't force it, just be yourself. Number seven, not all your videos will take off. Some of your videos will flop unless you are a very famous celebrity, but there will be videos that will also take off, which will have many views, but there will also be some which do not have any views or much views. I've got those too. And that is okay. It actually depends on what your subscribers or your audience would like to see. If you're doing vlogging to earn money, you might need to have a niche topic where you just focus on that topic. But if you'd like to do vlogging like me, just for fun or for sharing and for helping out, then you can mix up the topics that you'd like to discuss. I think you won't be bothered if it is flopping or it is viral. That's my idea of vlogging at the moment. 
My purpose is to give you videos that are entertaining, educational, and encouraging, and that is my vlog's purpose. So don't be disheartened if some of your videos do not get much views. Just keep on doing it and just do what you like to do, which is to produce videos. Number eight, some subscribers will unsubscribe. This is normal. Maybe they saw something in your videos that they didn't like or they just wanted to move on to another video vloggers. So don't be disheartened if some people unsubscribe from your channel. Just focus on the positive side, wherein there are many, many YouTube viewers out there who might find your videos interesting and helpful and these are the ones who will stick with you and subscribe. Number nine. This is probably should be the number one, but I just want to share that vlogging is really fun. The feeling of uploading a video on YouTube is really exciting. If you're the sort of person who likes to start and finish a project and then upload it for other people to see and hopefully appreciate, it is a very good feeling. And even when there are only one or two viewers who started and finished watching your vlog, it is still an accomplishment. Respect your subscribers' time. They invested time in watching your vlogs. So try to make your vlog really worth watching and good quality as long as you're having fun doing it. So yeah, if you're looking for a hobby where you will find some sort of feeling of accomplishment, I think vlogging is one of those. Number 10, full-time YouTube vlogging is not an option for me. There are thousands of YouTube vloggers out there who chose YouTube vlogging as a full-time career. And I believe that this is possible. It is possible to make a living out of YouTube vlogging but this is not an option for me at the moment. It is good to use YouTube as a platform for sharing videos that might be helpful to other people who are interested on the topics that I discuss or document some memories with your family or any other reasons. But at the moment, YouTube vlogging is something that I would do just for a part-time or as a hobby and it is okay. There you go. Those are the truths and facts about YouTube vlogging that you might encounter when you start your own YouTube channel as well. I hope that this information are helpful for you to know to reassure you that it is okay to start your own YouTube channel, whether it is for full time or part time. I hope that you liked this video and if you did, please don't forget to click the thumbs up button down below and please don't forget to click the subscribe button if you'd like to be notified when our next videos are uploaded. There will be more fun and adventure vlogs that would like to share with you and some more helpful tips relating to British living here in the UK. So I hope that you can also watch out for those videos. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay safe and have a nice day.